Yo, what's good people, man? Selector Hype here from TV Sound System, uh, Sound System Clothing, United Fashion and Music. Check out the website, www.soundsystemclothing.com. Also, remember to check us out on um, our YouTube channel, TV Sound System. Uh, remember to subscribe, 2017, and hopefully we can take it to the next level. Um, just check out all the previous interviews and reviews and etc. that we've done. Um, I have to do a video, man, about this one, man, because, yo... This Jamrock cruise is getting heated, you know, over the years. It's been a good look for the Marlies them. And um, obviously, the, everybody's talking about the clash that took place on the cruise. Now, there's a lot of negative vibes on the cruise, on this whole thing, you know. And I can't understand why people are so negative about Mighty Crown winning and Sound Clash being on a cruise ship and, and them things there. Straight to the point, really, you know. Um, a lot of people them are just like straight hating on the team, you know what I mean? Hating on the whole the eye concept of a clash on a cruise. To be honest, the only reason why you would hate on that particular situation is because really and truly you didn't go. And that's the end of it. The only reason why I can think somebody would hate on the whole idea of Jamrock Cruise and the clash on the cruise ship is because you didn't go, you wanted to go, I wanted to go. Hey, I can't hate nothing, I can't hate anything about it. I just, the only thing I hate is that I just didn't go. And a lot of people are hating on it, and I really do believe that you're hating on it simply just because you didn't go. You couldn't go uh, for whatever reason, but I think that's the only reason you would kind of hate on a situation like that. Now, the clash now that took place <laughs> with a mighty crowd. I've seen a lot of hate up for Mighty Crown and I'm saying to myself, how are people just hating like this, man? Um, I, I've seen people say, um, Mighty Crown, they can, win at, they can win on the sea, but they can't win on land. Like, what kind of a, what kind of a remark is that? They can win on the sea, but they can't win on land. And then there's all these different... Um, mad negative quotes regarding Mighty Crown and them I did this and them now I did this and this that and the other let's break down the thing seriously big up Mighty Crown man the Far East rulers them always ahead of everything what they do they bring it to a next level and I think because there's not that much things been going on over the sound system the sound clash um, vibes over the past couple of years we haven't seen anything like crazy like what Mighty Crown kind of performed at the Jam... Is it the Jam Rock Cruise? Jam Rock Cruise, yeah. Mighty Crown went in hard. Uh, I got families um, and, and friends um, who are on the ship and they're saying, yo, Mighty Crown, tear down the tin. The Mad Spider dub played for uh, the guy from King Turbo Sound. Come on, man. That alone shows you the levels of how Mighty Crown deal with Sound Clash. A lot of people then were saying them as well. Well, what's the difference between Sound Clash on a cruise and Sound Clash like in a dance? It's a cruise. First of all, you're gonna go. First of all, the Clash on the cruise. You book a ticket to go to Jamrock Cruise. You ain't booking that ticket to go to the Clash. The Clash is the least. You're going on that cruise for the whole concept of what that cruise offers you. The Marlies have offered you a big package, mad artists. I do believe I think the food's free in it. Not, don't quote me on that, but I know that you have to pay for your drinks, Em, and I know that the drinks are very expensive. But regardless, there ain't not one person that I know says, yo, I'm going to Jam Rock Cruise, you know, because of The Clash. The Clash is the least of it. So Mighty Crown, the difference between a cruise on sea and cruise on land. A cruise, you have to remember that a cruise is everybody from all corners of the earth coming basically for a holiday that's full of reggae music. So the concept of it is the people them, they don't care what's going on on that cruise. They want to know so they're going to go there enjoy themselves because they paid a lot of money so 
any dance or any show or anything that's happening on that cruise, they go in there with the mentality to enjoy themselves because they pay their money, this is what's on offer, boom, we go on with it. Unlike a clash that would be on land event, shall we say, where there's all the promotion, there's all the this, then you have to travel, you gotta jump in your car, you gotta drive the asshole, you gotta queue, then you gotta go into the dance and stand up and wait and blah, blah, blah. The cruise is a totally different thing. People are drinking and merry all day. Clash vibes now come around. You've gotta know how to deal with the people. Remember, Mighty Crown did that to a flipping T. You have to rate Mighty Crown for what they did, man, because clearly, and another thing as well, with Mighty Crown, what made them kind of get this edge of the one last year as well. And the reason why I think they, 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 they keep keep this consistent winning streak, especially on this cruise team, is because they interact. A lot of people them I've seen selfies with Sammy T, Master Simon, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're on that ship and they're interacting with the people them. Some people probably don't even also them play sound until they're seeing them on the stage. So they're like, yo, can I myself with this Japanese guy because he sounds like us. Sounds like he's from Jamaica. And they're just taking the little selfies them and they're interacting. Then boom, when the clash comes now, them same people them who was having the selfie them with, who thought they were nobody's like, whoa, that's the Japanese guy who, who we had a selfie with? They probably don't know about Mighty Crown. And then they see him or see Mighty Crown perform and perform like that. They, they gained new fans on the ship. Hence the reason why they won. Now the situation with the Mad Spider dub blades, my gosh, that was hecky. That was something else, man, because I got Mad Spider dub plate. You know how long it took me to get a Mad Spider dub plate? Nearly a month, three and a half weeks <laughs> to get my Mad Spider. So big up my man from um, King Turbo, Probo proposed to his wife alongside Taurus riding thing. Such a good look. But the minute he did that again, why Mighty Crown, the Far East rulers them, uh, just on a totally different level. They probably says, yeah man, round of applause, respect. But let me tell you something, the minute they turn their around, they turn around, boom, spider, yo, clash, boom, boom, boom. Write the lyrics them, boom. That, that, how, that was absolutely bang on point, what they did, you know what I mean? And definitely created a totally different vibes. And again, it's one of the biggest talks them right now, that, that, the way how Mighty Crowd dealt with it. Big up Mataran as well, big up Fire Links, and I think it was King Turbo as well that was in there, so big up yourselves. Big up my man from King Turbo, you could have counteracted the Mighty Crown still, because if you was going to go on the ship and, and you know, propose to your wife, you should have had a dub plate as well, you know what I mean? So if Crown did come with that vessel, you could have come back and said, well, you know, you look how much couples are on that, that cruise. How much couples are on that cruise where you could have just said, Yo, what's some boy I deal with? Look about a man there with them wife right now. You would have got a, you could have come back and then played a nice little dub for the wife with them and this, that, and the other. Could have counter, you could have, could have counteracted it still, but gotta give it to Crown. Obviously, the sound system, culture, and what's going on right now, we haven't really seen anything, and everybody's kind of like saying, Yo, mighty Crown, mighty Crown, we need to you see. This is where the newer sounds that need to start to learn and go into 2017 with ideas, going there with concepts, going there with originality, going there with an open mind so, and, and know, so you know what I mean? By all means necessary, or we would have put a ship in the middle of the ocean. Dubs are coming to us to deal with that specific event. And they did that, you know what I mean? So a lot of people are saying, you know, they need to see Mighty Crown back on the battlefield. Mighty Crown right now, kind of sound I'd like to see in that Red Bull culture clash kind of vibe. Can you imagine Mighty Crown in there with a nice little team behind them? Nobody could touch Mighty Crown if they come in there because again, that would be a Red Bull audience of 30,000 people who probably don't even know about Mighty Crown. You want to see the Japanese them come and do that and bring out guests. Can you imagine the guests Mighty Crown bring out? We've already got 50 cent on dub. We've already got these, you know what I mean? So big up to Mighty Crown. Just don't hate on the thing, man. Don't hate on the vibe. It was one of them ones there where next year, man, I want to book my ticket, man. I need to get on this cruise. Big up everybody that's been on the cruise and big up everybody who's just supporting the thing, man. No negative vibes, man. You know what I mean? 
there's no need to hate on the thing because the Marlies are investing crazy dough to make this thing happen and I mean from what I'm hearing it's like it's like the artists are just there you know what I mean taking photographs interacting with the crowd them you know what I mean everybody's taking photos with bounty killer B it's like who's a who in the reggae industry on a cruise ship so it's all love that's on there so we sitting down now who never went and we you know I'm in the UK now it's fucking cold and I'm watching these things here I'm thinking rah can't hate on it man you know what I mean big up mighty crown what they did was totally show the levels of what it takes to be champion sound and a lot of people are saying yo mighty crown the baddest to me they are one of the baddest and in this day and age with how sound system culture is going and the music's going and presentation and marketing and promoting yourself crown a number one for doing that man trust me so yeah just a quick little video it's still because you want to type 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 out the thing you know what i mean i'm sorry here in the uk i just wanted also people to just subscribe to tv sound system like i says we've got some more interviews coming your way with some of the top uk sounds and inside the uk obviously and we're going to be um interviewing them see what their plans are for 2017 i know that a lot of people are watching and there's been a lot of debate saying that the uk sounds and are not representing and not doing this that and the other um a lot of the uk sounds and are going to the us and not doing a job and all these things that we're going to try and bring to the table and hopefully you will follow subscribe put your comments in underneath it's just a quick thing right now that i'm doing it's a weekend right now. Big shout out reaching out to King Judah Sound. We got a culture mix 2016 that I'm listening to right now. So big up yourself, King Judah Sound. That's what I'm listening to right now. And please, like I said, check out the website www.soundsystemclothing.com, United Fashion and Music. Also, check out um, YouTube, TV Sound System. Please subscribe. Also, look out for the big dance with Black Magic. Also, Natural Affair taking place over there at the Elegance Lounge, I think, or something, or courtesy of the big man himself, Mikey Glamour, also Black Magic. That's Black Magic from out of the US and Natural Affair from out of the UK. Did a little promo promoting on it earlier. After the dance, take a listen, try and get in touch with Natural Affair, because their man, they live just over Dessa, not too far from where I'm at right now, so we can make all those things happen. So please, subscribe. Don't fight the ting, unite the ting, sound system culture, sound system industry, don't make them take away the regular music ting from me. We have to build the ting back nice and things like Jamrock Cruise and many other things that are taking place around the world, we need to support 100%. So on that note, enough respect going out to each and everybody, each and every time. Select a hype, TV sound system, sound system clothing, United Fashion and Music. I'm out. One. Peace.